Hey, good evening everyone. Tonight uh, I want to start on a bit of a negative note and just talk about a message that I've been sent. I've got other stuff in that in as well what I want to talk about but I just wanted to get this out message some in that first. Made you fail to understand mental health. I suffered from mental health and have Asperger's. You can't change who you are. You are born what you are. Can't go around changing your biology and expect people to accept the supposed new you when you don't accept your true self who is a man. Right. Uh, uh, for me, um, I do accept what's going on. Uh, my mental health was getting bad in that last my mental health and that was getting bad in that last year with the anxiety and that of stereotyping myself for wanting to cross dress wear ladies clothes and I was scared of it I did start buying ladies clothes and that and having it around the home and I was scared of it and I was stereotyping myself it of different things that people had said to me in that in the past and said to me in that in the past and and I was scared of it so I did start self-harming in that last April uh, when when I did start embracing the true me and I did start getting out a bit more going out dressed and wearing ladies clothes I'm a lot more happier and I'm a lot more true to myself. I really enjoy going out, putting a dress on, the leggings, the bra, the brassiere, the bra, the lipstick, the earrings, the mascara. I feel more happier and I feel like I can control things and I'm a lot more happier in myself. People have said that, people have said that, that, uh, they've noticed a change in me that I'm a lot more happier and do understand things a lot more. So to me that says I accept what's going on and I'm, ex and I'm embracing what's going on because I understand why I want to cross-dress, wear ladies' clothes. I understand that I'm attracted to transgender women. I understand that I am attracted to cis women. I understand that I'm a lot more happier and a lot more comfortable in that dress and I know that my anxiety and my mental health issues are a lot more controllable when I'm dressed. So to me that says that I understand about mental health and I accept what's going on. Uh, I do like to go out as i said i do like to go out dressed i honestly don't know how far i want to take it in that yet i don't know if i want to transition or whatever as i've said in previous videos i don't have dysphoria with my genitalia i don't have dysphoria with my genitals i like putting the ladies clothes on i like walking past a shop window or a shop mirror when i'm out and looking at myself in the mirror and thinking yeah that's me that's me i've overcome this barrier that's i'm enjoying it and i admire how much i enjoy being me so so i'm just being true to myself and true to what i feel like i am inside and uh, that's really the first negative experience in that with that kind of thing i do have admit that there was kids going out the other day or something when i've been to Wester and no not sure if i've been to Wester or if i was coming home and they said are you a guy or a woman and i'm like like i, like I thought it was kids messing about or they honestly didn't know so so yeah just a couple of bad experiences this week but i am wanting to get things back on track and focus more on what we can do moving forward um i do have some opportunities on wanting to get my care back on track i'm gonna to have to bring in 
Emily again. Uh, Emily again. Emily's amazing. She is a communication therapist. She did my communication therapist report, uh, the communication report, and uh, she's autistic. Uh, a lot of the reasons why I can't get group get into groups and that at the moment is because there's been issues in the past around things getting misinterpreted due to my autism and due to my communication needs and I want to work with Emily to put a bit more of a boundary structure in place and the do's and don'ts of what I can say or what I can't say and the crap and who I need to contact them for what reason uh, it's just and getting everyone else ringing singing off the same hymn sheet again it's just that at the moment people are saying you know you shouldn't be contacting us you need to be contacting them and yeah it's just going around a vicious circle then you contact them and then they say you shouldn't be contacting us you know you need to be contacting them so yeah it's just working with things like that and try to get things moving forward um i have uh been looking at other organizations and other organizations like colleges churches lgbt groups to see what opportunities i could be doing with them uh, just to give me a bit more structure and routine i haven't heard back yet but it was only today i put the application in but yeah um i also need to work with Catherine and my communication therapist at the same time so we can get the policies in place properly but yeah, I'm just, just a little update on me moving forward and that kind of thing. Thank you. Bye.